Anifoche. <laughs> Like <laughs>
Anyone My name is Mr. Chesson Adebayo Laibo. Mm, during his reign, I mean, so I was a nice king, as far as I'm concerned, you know. But everything about him is okay, sure. Uh, what are the things you believe you have done that you know? Mm, as far back as this. I mean, as far back as the king is concerned, lots of things must, he must have done lots of things and we wouldn't know. You get what I'm saying? But I mean, the installation of some Oluyes, I mean, that is something we really benefit from. So, uh, uh, can you give me a prayer? I also say, I wish him, I mean, best wishes, yeah. Like <laughs> Talent, not to be about oh, 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 oh
family and the people of Lagos State, but to the entire country. He died at a time when his fatherly role is certainly needed. The Oba was a rallying point for all the good people of Lagos State. He was an epitome of unity and strength to Lagos State in particular and the Southwest in general. I would now like to introduce from my right the Lagos traditional chief. I will start from well, of course, the death of Oba Ekan is a great loss to the entire nation. And uh, he's a man of peace. He's a man who was able to hold Lagos together. During his reign, Lagos has seen progress and development. And we wish you a peaceful, eternal peace. And uh, we hope whoever takes over from the Oba will try to emulate the best work of the Oba. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, the bad guy of Lagos. How can you describe the late Oba? Uh, the late of uh, being my father, somebody I was so close to. He was very wonderful, loving, caring. You know, um, I can never say there has been any fault whatsoever during my 37 years association with him. How, then, how successful can you describe his reign in Lagos? The, his reign, how you can see during his reign, we, we had uh, Lagos State was created. Uh, you had lots of development coming into Lagos. Uh, although the uh, seat of power, the federal seat of power, has been moved out of Lagos, but Lagos is, you know, still kept its unique, you know, position among all the states of the federation. Right. So you can see its reign was peaceful, although we had some um, ethnic clashes or whatever, whatever. But it's not as bad as what people, you know, tend to say. So I think uh, we've lost somebody so great, an icon. So uh, when you heard his death, how, uh, how do you feel? How do you feel? Personally, I felt bad, felt sad. Uh, it's my father. I can never have asked for another father. Although I don't have him anymore with me now, but I, I'm still feeling the pain. Uh, so what legacy is? Do you think he left behind? Which you people will emulate? I think um, he had he had something in him, you know, that's uh, so unique. 
Papa, being himself, you know, he is very, very good at sorting out these roots. That, I think, that I think is, you know, is something which I wish, which I wish I could emulate, you know. I, I is a very patient person, a very loving person. So, and the biggest legacy that I left uh, behind are his children. Maybe you can tell us one thing that he did for you that you never forget. The most wonderful thing he did for me, making me the bachelor of Lagos. Thank you very much, man. Love you, Mika. I love you. Uh, I don't know how long. 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 At the people of Asia, why are they lying alone in the Jacob or Badger Lila? Well, on the crown, my dad, as you call one, and you want alone in Joe Badger. You call a European, but not a secret. Ah, who follow this issue? Tony Yat of Padia, Saint Casico, as in Casico, as you come to Alara, at Tomadia Tagba, and Cosani Toyo, the Jetio, the Molecu, in Bobori Gomera and Nigeria, a coil and a dad, the Benango Bias in the first Latin Magu, as you go by Bavana, you see that they so, As a top state government professional, what is the level of government participation? The level of government participation there is very high. It's, it's uh, over. I mean, it's the paramount is over. I have Lagos. And um, we have all hands are on deck. We're going to give our over rightful and fitting funeral that he does. Thank you so much. Thank you. Gentlemen, first class personality, a person well created by the Almighty God, and he's nice to everybody. We are very, very sorry to miss him. He's a personal friend of mine. We are together in Lagos, we are together at Umahia, we are together at Aba, we are together at Port Harcourt, and I took a very, very important uh, part. 
at the time was being made the Yaba. So I miss him greatly. So you guys have got all the way. How successful can you describe his rule in Lagos? Very, very successful. He ruled fast, you know, for about 30, 30 years. Was very, very successful. Successful and peaceful for everybody. And uh, people were happy. The traders were happy. They make more money during this time. And we are, we are, it is, we are very, people of Lagos were very, very healthy during this time. As a personal friend of this, do you know of is the plan of or any ambition of his that he never lived to realize? Uh, he has lived a good life. He has lived a good life. And when it is time for him to go, he, he has to go. That is the hand of the Almighty God. But he lived a very, very good life. And I'm happy he died without any problem or major sickness. It's better to go. Thank you very much. God bless you. Sorry? How successful? Can you describe the reign of Obadi Yukon Yukon in Lagos? Extreme, extremely successful. I mean, you know, somebody reigned for 38 years. So imagine Lagos, the way it was 38 years. Eh? And look at the development that we have gone through. And don't forget, this was the capital of Nigeria, where all the presidents, ministers, everybody at one time or the other come for his advice, for his, you know, direction in doing things. So, you know, what very successful. Why? Lagos played the role of federal capital. It was the most peaceful uh, stage. And all Nigerians resided here in peace. If we had had a, an Oba that was not the Oba we had, it could have incited these people against those who were encroaching on their rights and taking over the state. In so many ways that I cannot begin to tell you now. But I think eventually you read it in my memoirs. It was every inch a great monarch. A tremendous human being, kind, considerate, and magnanimous. So when you heard about his death, his demise, how, how, how do you feel? I knew he's been ill, and I know he's uh, and I knew I know he was an old man, but it was still a shock, and a shiver went through one, and one was sad, but on the whole, <coughs> it was a glorious life, <coughs> and it's a celebration, and we should be celebrating his life. Which is what we are doing. As a person very close to him, as a, as a person very close to him, is there any regret or things that you ever lived to realize or feel? No way, no regrets at all. It was a beautiful life. I learned a lot from him. In fact, my closeness to him has shaped me into what I am and definitely a better person. No, there's no regrets, and I'm certain Oba too had no regrets. Even towards the end, he will look at you, he will smile and say, just do everything well. You know, and sometimes he will say, thank you, thank you. No, no, I don't think KBC had any regrets. He died a fulfilled, happy man. Thank you very much. Thank you. Elder man, Polari Kuka, O-O-N, Babaitu, Obliga, Rumeka Fuani, Adra, Babaitu. But I was to Mojo ba ijo ko gogo eyin agbalagba awon loyo ni fi la funfun ni ori po yin akari gbo galaje idejo ati awon abagbo e pe fun wa o Mojo ba ya wa ye ye oba ere lukuti kata princess princess abiola do so ori ola le wa o e pe lori ola I got it, come on, you can go on this chain for a Baba Wa, President Towa, a token Wa, President Wa, or Twegba, 
Both young and old will sorely miss him, particularly his chiefs who interact with him on a daily basis. He was a humble individual, a lot youthful and active. <laughs> Papa, Papa was a very fine, fine gentleman, um, very humble, was um, ever so ready to talk to you, um, very down to earth, and um, at times you even forget that you are talking to an Oba, and I hope um, those coming after him will emulate these virtues which he has left. Very warm, very warm and humane. Ma, it's not to be the longest, second longest reigning Oba. To what factors can you ascribe this long reign? I think um, the grace of God, first and foremost. And um, of course, um, he didn't take life, it took life very, very easy. He lived a normal life like any human being. He didn't allow himself to be caged into one corner under the pretext of um, an Oba. He lived, he lived his life to the fullest. And uh, he was medically conscious. So, what are legacies, legacies do you think he left? Humility. Humility is the most important. Humility. Thank you very much, man. This is Nick Akpo Ujodi now. How can you describe the little bus? Uh, he was uh, the best king that Lagos could have ever witnessed in his life. The man of people very kind, very peace-loving Oba of Lagos and he has ruled to the best of his ability, to the best of all the um, Lagosians. We are very happy with his uh, rule and we pray that his soul will rest in perfect peace. And as you've been told in the gathering there, he loves all and sundry. He recognizes the, the, the contribution of those who are non Lagosians by giving them titles, chieftaincy, chieftaincy titles. And that's why some of them are over there coming to celebrate the death of our father. So love him, he was a loving man. His reign is not very peaceful. To what factors can you ascribe that? Yes, as I've said, the rain was quite peaceful uh, all over the places, a bit, uh, preaching peace to everybody. And the last outing he was out at this uh, Dumagbo fire incident, you remember what he said, that he didn't want uh, the area boys or those who are violent to be around. So he was appealing to all and sundry that we should maintain peace that Lagos used to witness years back. So you can imagine, if at that age, he was still uh, preaching peace in Lagos State. He was a kind man, a kind ruler, a ruler that we shall all miss. Thank you very much. Pardon? Can we meet you, sir? Yes, my name is Chief Joseph I. Obi. Sir, how can you describe Little Bade Inka Oyeko, sir? How can you describe Little Bade Inka Oyeko, sir? Ah, he was a wonderful man, a great father, a great king. He was a most wonderful man, a very humble man, a very caring, loving father. We all miss him. It's not to be one of the longest reigning Oba. To what factors can you describe the, the longest, the long reign? Uh, I said the grace of God, by the grace of God, and his uh, physical well-being. He looked after himself very well. As you know, he was uh, a great musician. You know, he was a great musician. He looked after himself very well, and God gave him the grace of long life. So, so, sir, what are legacies do you think he left behind that Lagosians will miss greatly? Ah, Lagosians will miss him greatly. Peace. He was an apostle of peace. His own was there should be peace. He was very caring and very loving. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, Oh, she died that way. Look, I said, but everything fell.
Somebody fair, who she died there. That's 1960. 1960. You want to fair? 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 You want to Baba na o je lara won oba te pe won lo igba to pe lori oye ki leyin ro ki le ro bi pe ohun na la gbo emi o si o ba kokon leyin ti adipe emi o use mo sale ko mi use mo ro lo baje a mo ko bayi na ni sugbo ngba to ti je oba o se doda aba won la kala ma tu so leyin 38 years on 11 no no she capin day capin day the 11th of March. the the Oh, no, what will cost you? I want to ask you. I want to ask you. I want to ask you. You don't know if you feel put here. Look at you. Look at you. Come on. 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 Come Jota Jama Joshiri, Jota Jama Law Club, Jota Jama. Ngbasi o ti ngbasi o ti Nero, JT O ninety two Y, but I did not so far pass your machine. January, or do you? Oh, in January, the car can't even go. Why do you go to the club? Why? 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 To Kebi Mora, to Karad Mora, Tio Moepe, Lagbaja of Mikoni Mobi, in Salamilo Tijadi, Bobo Molon, Shebi or Moe, where or more mini Bobo, Kodera, Komara, Luka, Kunola, the Kayo will be Bobo Kosheri, Boba Jello Milo Joba, and the Koma Wole. Come on, Shiba. Emma Park is here. Eh, let be considered. Emma Bobata. Baba Okia. Okia, we. Kofi, Kofi, Lia, Yeni, Olara. Omo Lia, Yeni, Oshie. Ben, no, no, Jacky. Oju, Eko, Kweto, Yi. Baba, do you have a house, Simo? Baba, Yeni. Eh? Do you have a house, Simo? Baba, Oshie. That is bit mind me. So chop me. So Jacky, we come back. No, Jacky. I want to come on about Sicily. They Oh, <laughs>
Ngọ <laughs> Where are you from? You are from Yes. Sir, how can you describe the little body in Kayako, sir? He was a great man. He was a statesman. He was a gentleman. And he was a father to everybody in this country. Not only to people in Lagos who miss him too much. And it is because of the qualities he represents that my governor, Prince Abubakar Audu of Kogi State, has sent me and the secretary to government to come and condole the family. So what legacy do you think he left behind? He left a legacy of honesty, of peace, and of unity amongst all Nigerians. Thank you very much. I'm an assistant commissioner of police, and the other, before he died, conferred on me the title of Area Kogo of Lagos. That was, uh, to be precise, uh, 24th of December last year. So, uh, how can you describe the little Basa? Uh, the Oba, apart from being the Oba of Lagos, was my mentor. I remember he was the one who coerced me, let me use that word, to join the force uh, so many years back. Uh, he was a very wonderful person. Uh, he got married to my sister, Olori Tukoyekon, 1965. Since that time, he took it upon himself to take care of uh, members of my family. Uh, he was very responsible to our growth, always advising us and, you know, guiding us. He's not the second long, uh, longest reigning number in Lagos. What factors can you ascribe to that? Uh, well, personally, my feeling is that uh, being old in life has to do with uh, the grace of God. You see a lot of people who are into vices, like uh, womanizing, drinking, they still live to be old. And there are people who are very pious and they die very young. My belief, as, that is con as far as that is concerned, is that it's, uh, God has a lot to do with that, not human. I think, um, well, his old age could be ascribed to God Almighty. Will you agree with me that his reign was very successful in Lagos? Definitely. Definitely. His reign was extremely successful. Uh, he was a man of peace. And I guess that is why uh, Lagos was and still very peaceful. You see, he was a man who abhorred uh, ill feelings. He will come out and tell you his feelings. And of course, he was always stressing on the fact that uh, we should all, you know, go, you know, live a, a peaceful life. That's what, that's one good thing about him. What traits, uh, what legacy, uh, do you as a person learn from him? 
I learned a lot of things from him. I learned a lot of things from him. I'll say that again. Um, he's a man who is extremely diligent because I was very close to him. A very kind person. A person who believes in living each day as it comes. A man who believes that you must always do good no matter what. I think I've learned, I really learned a lot of virtues from him. I will definitely miss him. I will miss him. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Baba Oh Emini <laughs> contribute <laughs> Ah, Requete, Requete, ni Babasi. Ah, hello, me, Dio, Rupon, Lee, Jay, Nay, Nipas, Babacola, Wally, or Loco Babaco, Horola, ah, O Jay, Tama, or Nuga, Eleni, ah, Egaba, all of you got them, my day, Tapway, and Maria, one room, a parody along the Lilian B. Lenny, and like, eh, from Buddha, can you not just be everything guys are but is a lively area of everybody so i was a bad one even bad one you bad one Oh, the Chile Kunga, it's just like a police station. You So, along go for the by Babato Dani, Oko, Guamara. You know, I don't believe what you are no Lewa. Even Gato Joey, 
lati loga to adupe lodo ologun oba ologun ko forun ke a oduwa o oduwa gan odo odagba uh, Gabi is 92 years of old. I'm uh, more, I was very good. We go the one or something. I'm uh, more, I was fair, but all on fair, you will go a lot. So call on a back of one, okay? Yes, sir. Dean Idris Onigemo, I like the gear of Lagos, secretary to White Cap Chiefs of Lagos. Sir, how can you describe the list about the Inka Oyekon? I'm short of what to describe him. The Papa is so wonderful, so accessible to people, so intelligent, he has never lost his memory at any point in time. The man is wonderful. I, I think uh, I would like to emulate such a man to get to the point, the high point that I want to go to. The man is, is good, generally good and kind father to everybody. It's not a bit the second longest running by Lagos. What factors can you ascribe to, be, to, the, to that? Oh, again. It's not to be the second longest training of our, I've spent 38 years. What factors contribute to that? If you, were, you see, when somebody is free in mind, there is nothing bothering you. You don't, you don't care of what this man say, what that man say. You are, you are bound to live longer. These are the contributors, contributory uh, attitudes to give the man a very, very long time, long reign. He has no day of uh, sad, sadness. The man is wonderful. Papa is wonderful. Kabiyazi is wonderful. He's a father to be emulated. Would you agree with me that his reign was successful? Very, very successful, very peaceful, very it witness. I don't know what to say about it. Very, very normal. The rain was very good to Lagosians. All, even to the smallest kids, Lagosians, they are still talking about him up to for years to come. So, what legacies do you believe that he left behind? He left a very good legacy that when you are when you attain a status you must maintain your status quo it's a disciplinarian you must maintain that status quo you must maintain your prestige you must then be generous and feel that anything can happen anytime I mean, he, he has left so many good legacies for the chiefs, the uh, Obas, the uh, Omobas, the uh, Omoba Kuri, Omoba Ubiri. The people have mentioned it for us to emulate. Sir, since you are very close to him, did Papa express any regret at any time? Or is there any wish of his that, that he never lived to, to fulfill? Papa fulfilled everything. And uh, Papa has no cause 
to regret one day. Once Papa is annoyed, he will, he will tell you. He will tell you what he feels about you as a person. And once you make correction, that's all right with him. Hey, look here. This is a this is a legal man. This is a man to be respected. He's a man to be honored. We, we have not done anything to to measure his to the legacy he left behind. We have not done it, and I hope we shall do it by the grace of God. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Now, can we meet you, sir? Can you meet me? I am Professor Oladende. Dosumu Ogumbi, a late woman of Lagos. Period. How can you describe the late Oba? I think how you call Lagos, sir. The late Oba, who is a father to all of us, is kind, generous, progressive, always ready to help everyone. And what he wanted to be remembered most for is peace that there is calm after he had moved on. Unfortunately for us, we have peace, we have calmness, we have friendship among everyone. The uh, children, the Oluis, and the Oluris, we are all working together. We thank God. To what factor, sir, can you ascribe this long reign? To what factor? Can you ascribe this long reign? His long reign, first to my mind, is due to the grace of God. He was the one that un endowed him, that gave him the gene, that gave him the ability, and that endowed him with calmness, the ability to sustain a uh, situation that are uh, rough, that could have created anxiety. He is being a man of peace. He lived throughout, piloted this country in a peaceful manner, and he went away. So he is good, he is kind. How are we? What are legacies? I shall. What are legacies the, the, the legacy. left, left behind, sir? I mean, the major thing that is left behind for Lagos is peace. It, you know, have you ever heard of disruption in Lagos throughout its 38 years between Ibo, Yoruba, Hausa? There is so much peace in the country. And that is what he has labored for. That is his major achievement in life. Since you are very close to him, sir, as about, did you about at any time uh, regret, make any regrets? Or is there any wish of his he never lived to fulfill? Uh, not that I can say yes to. I think his wishes have all come through. And you will see it unfolding as the days and the months roll by. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Cheers.
I want the end. I want the end. Ah, but I want the end. Yeah, the body. The body is working. Congratulations. Thank you, Pastor. Yeah. Oh, yeah, me back. Yeah, go on. Thank you very much. So, how do you feel? Oh, today, I give praise to God. 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 So how old are you today? Oh, you want to know? <laughs> yeah, I do. Okay. okay. I'm coming. I'm coming. Congratulations. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. You are the new super. Thank you. 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 Thank Hey, I will Okay, 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 I don't know.
and collect these materials free of charge. Uh, the beneficiaries, as I've mentioned, are located all along the coastal line of Lagos State. Uh, they will be found in the uh, cooperative societies. Cooperative societies in Badagri local government, in Etiosa local government, uh, in Ojo local government, uh, in Ikorodu local government, uh, Ibejuleki local, local government, Lagos Island local government, Ajira of Mifelun local government, Oshofe local government, Amu World of local government, Apapa local government, Shomudu local government, Lagos Mainland local government, and Epe local government. Once again, I welcome you all to this ceremony and wish you all farmers and fishermen bumper harvest in the season to come. Thank you and God bless. Wala ki gbogbo wa patapata ka bo si ibi ayeye yi. Won la won kin ka bo si bi eto ti a ti fe pin awon ohun elo fun awon apeja ni isori adugo meta ni ipinle eko. Won ni ni ipinle eko yi Olorun fo mi kewa lopolopo. Ni gbogbo orilede Nigeria agree. Ti to fi de okun folu. Omi wa repete. To God be the glory for the success of this occasion, which symbolizes another very important the association. The founding fathers of the founding fathers of Lagos. The Fishermen Competitive Association in Lagos on the 13th of March 1986 registered with the state government under the Ministry of Agriculture and Cooperation and was given the following objectives. 1. Promotion of socio-economic interest of members of the association. 2. Facilitation of the fishing operation of members by arranging for supplies of inputs. C. Arrangement of internal generation of left revenue for the subsistence of the association. D. Discouragement of obnoxious fishing practices. E. Education and sensitization of members on code of conduct for responsible fishing. And F. Looking into disputes and problems of members and making necessary settlements and resolutions. Constraints. In our desired effort aimed at achieving these noble objectives, we also encountered some constraints which are as follows. 1. Resource depletion. There have been serial de depletion in all our aquatic resources that make fisher folks vulnerable to abject poverty being the only source of livelihood. 2. Resource pollution by oil companies, industries, and so many mechanical engineering companies in the state. Three, maintenance of fishing trawlers. Fishing trawlers are not abiding with the rules and regulations of the operation. They encroach the artisanal fishing area by trawling five to nine fathoms, thereby 
destroying set names and even carrying some away. Four, pure water lylons, through lylon bags. These have constituted a nuisance to the fishing industry. These lylons are not easily destroyed. It has posed a very big problem to the fishermen. The lylons block the net meshes in the water. In the water, please help to tackle this today. First scarcity. This issue of fuel scarcity has affected our livelihood greatly. Filling stations refuse to sell into our engine tanks whenever there is scarcity. And five, lack of infrastructure. No accessible road to some fishing communities, no portable drinking water, no electricity, no hospitals, and so on and so forth. Request. Government to assist the fishery sector on options for livelihood diversification. This will reduce the pressure on the aquatic resources that leads to overfishing. Two, government to force the polluters to pay adequate compensation to resource dependent sectors. Three, government to find solutions to nylon bags through pure water nylons. Four, government to please request for necessary naval base or naval posts at some strategic position along the coastline of Lagos State, like Padagri Beach, Beshi Beach, Lekki Beach, and so on and so forth. This will caution the encroachment of fishing trawlers and also illegal exportation of oil into neighboring countries. Government will build some remix fuel station in between fishing communities for easy access to fuel that will ensure smooth operation of fishing industries. Government to involve fishermen association in policy formation, in policy formulation as well as implementation. Government to review the application of current laws and assess their impact on livelihood with a co-management focus. At this junction, I must first of all express my profound gratitude to Almighty God for making it possible for us to assemble here today. I also, on behalf of Fisher Folks in Lagos State, express our profound gratitude to His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Lagos State, Ashiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinungu, for his concern over fisheries development in Lagos State. This state is the first to implement microcredit scheme among the 32 states of the Federation. All agreed sectors benefited. Stakeholders were given input after paying 25% of the cost, and the balance of 75% were spread over 12 months by monthly installments. Also, two years ago, primary societies were given fishing inputs like outboard engines, nets, floats, and less hooks at 30% government subsidy. To grant it all, the action governor of Lagos State, His Excellency the Executive Governor, Ashiwaju Bola and Ben Tinubu, have called all fisher folks in Lagos State together here today to unveil another unique dimension to fisheries development in Lagos State. <laughs> the first ever in the history of assistance to fisher folks in Lagos State. Distribution of fishing inputs preservation facilities and smoking kilns to stakeholders in the state, not on microcredit nor subsidy, but free of charge. We are very happy. Our minds and souls are full of joy. We promise very soon there will be regular supply of it to the ministry at subsidized rate. <laughs> we shall also, we, the whole fishermen in Lagos State, shall also massively vote for your second term come April 2003, inshallah. <laughs> His Excellency, the Executive Governor, sir, I cannot end this address without resort, recourse to the assistance and good wishes the fisheries industry in Lagos State have received from you since your assumption of office. 
We thank you and your able cabinet, our action commissioner for agriculture, the brilliant permanent secretary of the ministry. We also thank the director of fisheries, planning, agri services, and to others we could not mention their names. We say very big thank you and God bless. What did you follow